Hey guys, my name is Dean. Welcome to Manflow Yoga. You are about to watch a full length workout from my online members area here free on YouTube so you can check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. I encourage you to check out some of the links in the description if you want to learn more about Manflow Yoga or if you want to get started with a free beginners program. I have a seven day intro uh, which is free, no credit card required and it's an awesome way to get started in just about 15 minutes per day. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. We put out tons of workouts and content every week and I hope you enjoy this workout. Be sure to like it. Hello, my name is Dean. This is yoga for back pain relief. We're gonna start on your ground. You may need a wall and a block for this. First pose is a child's pose. So if your knees hurt on the ground, you can put a cushion under the knees. Just a sweatshirt, maybe a washcloth or a dishcloth. Those both work. Your knees are wide, about two feet apart. Big toes touching, untucked. If your toes hurt, if they cramp up, you can also tuck your toes. From here, you're gonna walk your arms out in front of you. Arms are shoulder width distant. And then relax your forehead on the ground. You wanna think of pushing your lower back toward the ground here and lightly squeezing your arms toward one another. You should feel a stretch through your lower back, maybe also through your upper middle back as well. If you want, you can also untuck the toes if the toes are feeling good, if they're not cramping. And this is the first stretch. This is a child's pose. This is very good for relieving back pain. Next one we're gonna try is a cat camel, and this is good for helping to relieve spine stiffness. Hands are under your shoulders, knees are under your hips, so your knees are about hip width distant. Squeeze your knees toward one another, and then inhale to arch, so lift your chest up, Pull your head away from your shoulders, look forward, lift your butt, and then exhale round. Press down through your hands, pull your head toward your hips, and look down. Press your back toward the ceiling. We're going to do about five, maybe up to ten of those, depending on how this feels for you. And as you go through these, you should notice that your spine loosens up with every one. Make sure that as you're inhaling and arching, so here, you're pulling your chest forward, and trying to arch your back, lifting your butt up and keeping your abs tight. As you're exhaling, pressing down through your hands, trying to touch the middle of your back toward the ceiling, and then looking back between your legs. All right, so you're gonna do about five to 10 of those ones. Next one is a lunge. So if you want, you can use a block or you can support yourself with a wall. So right hand goes on the wall, right leg lines up alongside the wall. Step your right foot up and then lean forward with your hips as much as it is comfortable to do. Knee stays above your ankle, so if your knee is going past the ankle like this, then just bring your right foot forward a little bit more so you get the knee above the ankle. And then if you want, you can bring your hands to the thigh if you're feeling secure and then lift your chest just a little bit. We're going to work on pushing both hips forward and then getting a stretch to the front of your left hip. So this muscle here connects to your spine, connects to your back. So this is going to help with back pain relief by stretching that muscle and making it a little longer. So we can do that both sides. You can hold that for up to a minute. Let's go to the left side now. So now left foot is up, right knee is back, maybe hands to the thighs or hands on the wall if you need that extra support. Press both hips forward as much as it is comfortable to do so. You shouldn't have pain in your back when you're pushing your hips forward. So don't get your hips, don't let your back arch as you're pushing the hips forward. You wanna keep your chest as much in a straight line with your back leg as possible. So a straight line from your knee to your shoulder. You can release your hands, relax your hands on the thigh. Try to keep the weight in your hips and not in uh, the front of your leg. And this is another one you can hold for 30, 45, or 60 seconds. Okay, and we're gonna move on to our back. So first one is a reclined twist. So you're just going to have your back on the ground, your knees over your hips, your arms out to the sides. Bring your legs all the way over to the right. Place your right hand on your left knee and stick your left arm out to the left and then try to pull your ribs down toward the ground. So you're pulling your left ribs down to the ground and stretching from your right hip all the, sorry, the left hip all the way up through the left shoulder. Left arm goes out to the side. You might even feel a stretch up through your chest and your arm. 
So we're holding this one for about 30 to 45 seconds. Deep breaths in and out of the nose. As you exhale, relax a little bit more. Maybe go a little bit deeper into the stretch. And then switch sides. So now legs going over to the left. Left hand to your right knee. Right arm goes straight out to the side. Look straight up at the ceiling. And again, we're gonna draw the right ribs down toward the ground. So instead of puffing your chest out, try to pull it in. Try to pull your ribs down, and that will help you get a better stretch through that area from the right hip up through the right shoulder. Again, 30 to 45 seconds here, deeply breathing in and out of the nose. Next one is a reclined figure four. So line up like you're doing a bridge. So feet toward your butt, and then you're gonna cross your right leg over your left thigh like this. So you're making a triangle with your right leg. And then from here, reach through, lift your left leg off the ground, and grab the back of your left thigh. And then from here, lightly pull your left thigh toward your body and work on opening up your hip and getting a stretch through the outer hip or through your butt here. You can relax your head onto the ground if that feels comfortable. And this one we're gonna hold for about 30 to 45 seconds. Again, your focus here is on relaxing, breathing deeply. And you should feel a stretch all through the outer hip and through the back of the thigh, so through your butt and outer hip. And then we can switch legs, so relax the foot down, uncross the leg and cross the other leg. Now grab the back of your right thigh, lift your right foot off the ground, lightly press your left thigh forward. You're working on turning the thigh so you want to get the inner thigh facing you and the outer thigh facing away from you. Make sure to be careful with your knee here. Do not press the knee forward. You want to work on opening up the thigh again. Keep your toes flexed so your toes are reaching back toward your shin. Notice my toes aren't relaxed, they're engaged. And then lightly pulling my right thigh toward my chest. At the same time, lightly opening the left thigh getting a stretch through the outer hip and the glute. 30 to 45 seconds there as well. Next one is a reclined butterfly. So you're gonna stay on your back, put the soles of your feet together, and if you're tight, that's okay. Your knees might be a little bit higher at first, but eventually your knees will start to relax toward the ground. There shouldn't be any pain in your back here, so if you're feeling like you're arching your back, try to get your back flat on the ground. So. You want to think of kind of scooping your tailbone, so getting the arch out of your back, tightening your abs, driving your belly button toward your lower back, toward the ground, and then just allowing your hips to open up to stretch here. If you want, you can even put some sandbags or something on top of your thighs here, maybe just placing your hands on your thighs like this to help get a better stretch. And this one you can hold for a longer time, maybe a minute, even two minutes if you want to. 30 seconds is great. The longer you hold it, the more opening is going to happen. All right, and then the last one I'm gonna show you are some reclined strap stretches. So this one you need a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can just use a belt. You're gonna lay flat on your back. You're going to bring the strap around the sole of your foot and then bring the leg straight up toward the ceiling. Press the back of your knee forward and then just depending on your, your hamstring flexibility here, so the flexibility in the back of your thigh, you may have it forward more you may, have, you may need to bring it back more to feel a stretch. You should keep your back flat on the ground here. And again, try to keep your belly button poking into your lower back. So we're gonna hold this one for 30 or 45 seconds. And then we're gonna go to the outside. So we're gonna bring the right leg over to the left while keeping the right hip down. And that's going to stretch the outside of the thigh and also still the back of the leg. So we're gonna go 30 or 45 seconds there as well. And then you're gonna go all the way out to the right, so all the way to the outside, and get that stretch as well. Make sure that your left hip isn't coming off the ground like that. We wanna keep the left hip on the ground here. And you can pull your foot up higher for a deeper stretch. All right, so we're gonna do that both sides. So just to recap, my left leg is coming up in the air, right leg stays on the ground, sole the foot faces up, I'm pulling my leg back toward my face and lightly pressing my knee forward so I can get a stretch from the calf, from the gastroc, all the way down to my thigh. So the entire back side of the leg, this is a really good stretch for relieving back pain. And then from here, we've got 
coming to the outside. So now I'm coming toward the right with my left leg. And you want to make sure that you don't lift the hip off the ground here. You want to just keep that hip on the ground and that's going to stretch the outside of the left thigh. You can pull that foot closer toward your head to get a deeper stretch. Last one, we're going to bring the legs all the way out to the left. Notice I'm keeping my right hip down. Don't allow your right hip to come up like this. So right hip stays down, belly button stays pressing down, and you can pull that foot closer to your face to get a stretch to the inside of the thigh. This is a really nice stretch for relieving back pain. These muscles right here and the inside of your thigh are a big culprit in lower back pain. And then coming back up with control and then releasing. Okay, so there it is. Bunch of stretches for helping you with lower back pain. Try to pay attention. My recommendation here, before I let you go, try to pay attention to the relationship between the stretch and how it affects your body. So if you did a child's pose, for example, and you noticed that that really helped with your lower back, do child's pose a lot. If you did those last stretches on your back with the strap and you notice that you're feeling a lot better directly after that, do those stretches. So some stretches are going to be more effective than others. Use the ones um, that have a good effect for you. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Hope you learned something new. Uh, try to make these workouts very helpful in terms of technique, in terms of learning how to properly engage muscles and build strength with yoga. If you're looking for more workouts, I encourage you to check out the rest of the videos on this YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure I have over a thousand. Uh, and if you want more, if you're looking for an organized program to get started, I highly recommend checking out the Manflow Yoga members area. It's just $1 to get started with a seven day trial. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to like this video if you liked any of it. It's really helpful. And I hope to see you on future videos.